Recently, Jack Welch passed away at the age of 84. He was an extraordinarily successful CEO who in 20 years made GE the most valuable company on earth. During those years, GE's market value grew from $12 billion to $410 billion, an increase of over 2,700%. Fortune magazine has called him manager of the century. Business Week called him one of the greatest innovators and an icon of American business. Jack brought in a strong process orientation and execution culture at GE. His adoption of Six Sigma and Black Belt marks a turning point in the history of process improvement. Execution was one of his pillars of the 4E mantra, the other three E's being energy, energize and edge. Alongside process and execution, Jack was passionate about growing people. He would spend a lot of time in GE's learning center in Crotonville. He focused on leadership development and summed up his leadership concepts into one sentence nuggets. Control your destiny or someone else will. Be candid with everyone. If you wait for the perfect answer, the world will pass us by. There are many things we can learn from him. Let me talk of three characteristics about him that clearly stand out for me. Candor, confidence and curiosity. His advice was filled with real insights and best of all, actionable. In his book, Winning, he writes, in some companies, being the boss means getting a special parking place or traveling first class. It could go to your head. You could really start to feel pretty big. Don't let it happen. Remember, when you were made a leader, you weren't given a crown. You were given a responsibility to bring out the best in others. For that, your people need to trust you and they will as long as you demonstrate candor, give credit and stay real. Jack believed that one of his key jobs was coaching and building self-confidence in his people. He felt that bureaucracy, turf battles, infighting and all that petty stuff which is so common in many organizations was because of insecurity in people. Insecure people resist change as they see change as a threat, not an opportunity. Jack's antidote to insecurity was self-confidence. He believed that giving people a voice to get them talking and listening to and trusting one another was a way to build self-confidence. Once he was visiting Argentina and a local friend, Claudio, hosted a dinner for him at his home. Claudio invited eight of his friends. In the beginning, all of them were very excited, but, but as the dinner progressed, they became increasingly frustrated. Here they were eating with Jack Welch and wanted to learn from him, but there was one problem. Jack was asking all the questions. How is Argentina? How do you do business? How do you manage high inflation? What about corruption? So on and so forth. While they left disappointed, one of the friends later said that he had learned something after all. Claudio, that was the greatest lesson, he said. He became the leader of the century by cultivating that insatiable curiosity. So, if you are a leader, the question becomes, are you embracing candor, confidence and curiosity at work? When Jack left GE, it was the envy of the business world. Unfortunately, today's GE is a different story altogether and Jack lived long enough to see it all fall apart. In the next episode, we will talk about this next phase of GE and what learnings one can draw from it. Hi, this is Suman. Thanks for watching. I would love to hear your comments and questions and don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the link below. Till next time, let us remember that leadership is an action, not a position. See you in the next one.